Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Jimmy. Just wanted to show you a few things about the Samsung Galaxy Note. Um, something that's kind of cool is a, is a really nice shortcut that you can do to change your brightness from actually the home screen. Um, so instead of going into your menu, your settings, oops, sorry, your display, brightness, um, and then changing it. That's about four screens that you can actually just bypass. But make sure that you have your setting to where it is not on the automatic. Uh, this way you can manually do, manually do it from your home screen. All you have to do is just place your finger on the top status bar. And all you got to do is just move it to the right, brighten it, move it to the left to darken it. And you place it wherever desired. So that's one thing you can do from the home screen. Uh, something else that's kind of fun is for your music. There's a way that you can actually mute it instead of pausing it. Uh, so it's a little bit more of an instinct type thing. So when you go into your music player, let's say I'm playing this song. Uh, one thing that you're going to want to do is to pause this music or mute it. Place your hands over at least the majority of half the screen on up. And now it plays it again. Pauses it. Plays it. And what's happening is uh, there is these different icons that's on the screen. You have number one, number two, number three, number four. Just make sure you cover your hand on all four of those and then it will mute the song. Um, and I think the main reason why that happens is because of the, the TouchWiz UI is it uses two pressure points um, to where I can, I can even move two of my fingers down, I can move two of my fingers up, and then it'll, it'll show me all my screens. Um, that's probably, that's my best guess is why that is. You know, you can even pinch to zoom the normal traditional way that most people do that. Um, but let's see here. Another thing that you can do is underneath your contacts, um, this one doesn't have a lot of contacts because this is a work phone here. Uh, but let's say that I had a ton of them underneath A. Let's see, all you gotta do is just place your finger or the S Pen on into A, move it to the left, and now you'll see that there's a second letter that is given, which is T. Um, if I had several names underneath there, I can move my, my S Pen up and down, and it'll narrow that name much quicker. So if you have a, if you're a person that has a ton of contacts in your phone, uh, this is a fast way to find, you know, your friend or whoever. Another thing you can do, um, I'm sure this is in a lot of handbooks, but a lot of people forget. Go to a name, move it to the right, you'll actually call that person. Move it to the left, whoops, move it to the left, you'll actually message that person. There you go. Um, so then there's two different things that you can do there. Um, since we're kind of in the phone business here, I'll show you a couple things that a lot of people like to look at, but it's nothing you'll do on a daily basis. Uh, first off, for all you big companies who go for the IMEI or MEID all the time, if you're doing you know 30 to 50 to 100 phones and you have to keep track in an inventory, um, instead of taking off your battery or going through your settings and going to about and all that, here's a fast way to do it. Star pound zero six pound. And there you go. There's IMEI for this phone right here. You can do this with Androids, you can do it with Blackberries, you can do it with iPhones, you can do it with Windows phones, you can do it with feature phones, flip phones, whatever the case. Um, if they're a phone made from a couple years ago to a phone released yesterday, that will work. Um, another thing you can do from here is the LCD test. Star, pound, zero, star, pound. Basically, you're just carouseling left, starting with the star. Uh, this is a way that you can test your greens, you can test your blues, um, and also your reds. Um, so if you think you have a dead pixel, this is where you can actually find it. Um, let's say that you are using your TouchWiz UI, which um, on the note here it's a 4.0 um, with the enhancement of the S Pen. Um, now underneath, if you want to test and see why you're flipping your phone over and it's not muting, well here is the sensor. Uh, this way you can check out your accelerometer, your proximity sensor, barometer, light sensor, gyroscope, and the magnetic sensor. Uh, when you move your phone up, down, left, or right, you know, picking up your X, Y, and Z angles, um, or axes, I should say, um, to the point where you can see if something's working or not working. Um, now, for the proximity sensor and light sensor and everything, you'll see that it picks up. There you go. So, you know, when you flip it upside down, um, then you can tell if that's working or not. Uh, you can test out your Mega Cam, your Touch, your S Pen, uh, your cameras. So on the screen here, basically, you just got to fill in all of these squares. Uh, once they're filled in, they'll, they'll turn green. And when you get them all done, it'll just say that you passed. Um, so if you feel that there's a portion of the screen that's not working, this is where you can test it, even in the middle, if you want to. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to a video. Um, 
underneath here, let's see, I'm going to go to videos. Here's a trailer. Um, one thing that you can do here is on this top where my thumb is, I press it and look in the upper right hand corner, you'll see a lock button. That lock button right there means that now the screen is locked and all of your buttons on the right hand side over here is locked as well. So if you have a young child or if you just have a friend who always touches the screen while a video is playing, now it won't bother it. Now when you take it off, it's un, you know it's un, unlocked, now I can get out of it and there you go. Um, so those are a couple there. Let's see. I'm gonna look at my S memo. I'm gonna make sure I didn't didn't um, forget anything here. I showed you your IMEI, your LCD test, your brightness, the contacts, the mute, the lock. Um, I showed you the call and the text, and now I'm gonna show you the three different types of ways you can do a snapshot. Um, the first one, especially with the Galaxy Note here, is with this S Pen. You press and hold on this button on the S Pen, and then you press and hold on the screen, and there you go. Now it just took a snapshot. Um, this is where if you want to edit something, let's say that this is a map and you wanted to eat like right here, um, just say, you know, 11 a.m., you know, meet me or whatever. And then you just got to send it via maybe text message or email. That way you can get it a lot quicker. Um, another way you can take a snapshot is by pressing, pressing and holding on the home button and then the power. So home power. Boom, now you just took another snapshot, and that goes into your gallery. So that's another way you can take a snapshot with a phone that does not have the S Pen. Now the other way you can take a snapshot is a little bit harder. Um, it's not as practical, but it's fun to do. Um, you just put, place your hand on top of the screen, and then you swipe it across. Um, as I said, it's a little bit harder to do, um, and so that was actually a bad demo, so I'm just not going to do it. But yeah, just place your hand, especially the angle I'm at. Um, anyways, uh, something else you can do is on this phone, the Galaxy Note, when you're inside of a phone call or if you're looking on the internet or a picture or a video, um, you can press on the S Pen, double tap on the screen, and then your little notepad will come up. And then this is where you can take your little your little notes. So for instance, let's say you're talking to your parents or a buddy and they said, hey, meet me at this location. You'll never have to say, hey, let me get a piece of paper and pen again. All you got to do is during the phone call, press on the pen, S Pen, double tap on the screen, and then you're ready. And then they say, okay, meet me at 11, you know, 23 Southwest whatever street. Save it and boom, there you go. Uh, so that was a few things I wanted to show you with this phone. Um, the only thing that I wasn't really able to show with the angle that I'm sitting uh, was a snapshot by sliding your hand across. But as I said before, it's not as practical um, and it takes a little bit of practice. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.